Hello my friends and welcome to my System Shock 2 narrated playthrough. I've just returned to Medsai to grab some health hypers. In fact it's quite a while since I've done an episode for which I am not even a little bit sorry. So I'll spill you guys. I'm just kidding. I love you all. And quite a lot of hybrids. Loads of hybrids. It's a fucking convention. I'm gonna grab his shotgun and unload it. Why I've been doing this will become clear in about 30 minutes, I should think. Here are the health hypers. I'm down to one at the moment. Back up to crap load of them now, like five. A lot of people have said that this game, uh, my, my particular playthrough, appears quite simple. And uh, to that I would say the real judge of the difficulty is how many resources you have. So I was down to one single health hypo and if I was at a situation where two health hypos were needed that would effectively be game over unless I could avoid it somehow. Well, this is not an easy game. And I have that smelly uh, frame rate problem so I'm just going to let it... there we go. Now, I don't remember wh where I'm supposed to be going. I'm going to ambush this guy though. What I like to do is lure them around corners and then smack them as soon as they emerge. Da, 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 da. I think I'll just run around until I find where I'm supposed to be going. No idea what else to do. There's some more smelly hybrids. Quite a few of them again. It's unusual to see clusters like this, really. We've had two clusters. I'm not even I'm not even going to bother getting that shotgun off right this door. And oh yeah, this is where I want to be. Ammo on the floor means I haven't been here yet, so this is definitely where I want to be. Ah, right, yes. I love this place. Do you remember the uh, corridor in Metal Gear Solid where we meet the ninja and there are all those corpses? This place reminds me of that. Oh, yeah, I naturally think this place is far cooler. Let's check out these corpses. I'm not going to mess about with these eggs, I'm just going to kill them. Now oh, there's a cyborg midwife around the corner. Let's put her down as quickly as I can. There she goes. I've mentioned before about my really dark monitor. I'll just reiterate, this place really is incredibly dark for me. I can barely see what's happening. I just mean that corner back there. This place is fine now. I can see this clearly. Ah, this room reminds me of a place in Dead Space. Um, where a sort of legless necromorph crawls up across the window here. I don't really know how to describe it otherwise. It's, uh, ah, th this is power armor. Power armor is uh, better than regular armor, but it drains power like a um, an AUG. 
so you would be better protected but you're constantly at risk of losing it you have to you know sort of constantly recharge it and stuff so that's a cool choice that you have to make uh, I'm not even going to bother with this more eggs down here are some spiders and those spiders are cocksuckers because they cause toxin damage when they bite you and I only have two antitoxin hypos so hopefully I won't be bitten there's a nanny a bit of retreat that's forcing me to use a health hypo you see my health is regenerating in the bottom left. I can kill her fairly easily at close range. Uh, uh, spider. Yeah, take that, you stupid spider. Maybe something hiding over by those eggs, but I'm just not going to waste my resources on it. Holding jump doesn't seem to be working. Can I just no, I can just jump up instead of vaulting. No, I'm not going to risk it. Spiders. You notice I'm being far more trigger happy right here. That's because very soon resources aren't going to matter at all, really. I mean, I wouldn't call the game broken, but it's very easy once you get to that point. What that point is, I haven't um, explicitly stated, I think. I'm uh, just going to let you find out when I get there. Oh, look at that. Mad skills. Both spiders down without being bitten. That's the many being all many ish. That's a nice reward for getting through this area. And there we go, that's the last of the environmental regulators sorted. I've, I've been putting toxin A into them to kill this uh, biomatter. If you've forgotten. There's an audio log. I'll be playing all the audio logs next episode, probably. For some reason, if I restart the... No, sorry. If I restart my computer and then load System Shock 2 straight away without loading any other games or videos, then that bug doesn't happen. And the same thing happens with um, Amnesia as well, except it's it happens constantly with Amnesia. It's not just after loading, it's all the time. When I first got it, I thought I wasn't going to be able to run it because of the crazy stuttering. But then after restarting, I launched it and it was uh, fine. It ran extremely well, in fact. Right, off we go to Ops.
Okay, so here we are on Ops. There's a frame race again. There we go. Ops is a major turning point in both the story and the gameplay. Right, so that's pretty much where I'm going to stop today because a certain something happens at the start of this level and I'm not sure I have time to fit it into the end and I don't want to cut it up because it's awesome. So, goodbye to you.